Hey, hey, welcome to Sunshine Haze. I am Aja A. And as you see tarot cards on your screen, you know it's time for a new moon reading. Um, this time around, this is for the Leo lunar cycle, so the new moon in Leo. Um, if you feel like what I'm saying, uh, before I get started, this video is for my Libras, um, the scales. If you feel like what I'm saying in this video is not resonating with you, go on and check out your moon and or rising sign. I've got a link um, to a playlist with all of those videos down in the description box. Um, if you want some more information on what the Leo lunar cycle means and what that energy is, go on and check out my video on that. I've got a link to that down in the description box as well. Okay, guys. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, okay. Yeah. Like I said, got <laughs> a new moon in a, a new moon in Leo tarot reading. Um, I do have two decks this time around, so check check me out. <laughs> um, as always, it's going to be our typical five card tarot spread. Going to be looking at the energies for you, Libras, for this Leo lunar cycle, and we're talking about mid August to mid September. Um, any crossing energies for you guys, and because we're talking about Leo, going to be looking at where are y'all styles being cramped and where do y'all need to show off, little Libras. And then, as always, I do a soul message card too, something extra for you to take away from this uh, reading. All right, for Libra. Okay, Libra. Like the two deck shuffling takes so much longer, but I'm time stamping these videos for you guys. So you can just click on the little time stamp down there and take yourself to where the reading starts. Um, what I will say though is a lot of times I have cards fly out, so if I were you, I would just watch the whole video because they be coming out in the end, in the beginning, you, know, you never know. But um, I haven't had any cards fly out for you just yet, Libra. Okay. Ooh, interesting. Two seven cards. Three seven cards, Libra. Jeez. Three seven cards. That's what's <laughs> what's good, Libra. I don't even know. I told y'all this is a new deck, so I don't even know. I'm looking at the cards like, what does that mean for y'all? Um. Okay. So. The first card that you guys have coming up in your spread is the choice card. Um, and this is a major card, but this is a major card specific to this particular deck. And so the choice card, the choice, the, ch 
The choice card is a card that points to, as it says, choices, options, opportunity. Um, it's a card of free will. It's a card of determination, uh, manifestation, um, cause and effect. So this card coming up in the position of the energy for you guys during this particular Leo lunar cycle, I get two messages for it. Is one Libra, and because you guys are a sign of thought and a sign of balancing things out, I do pick up on... This is going to be a very introspective or very reflective time for you guys to where you are actually becoming aware of the ways in which you are thinking. And I'm gonna, t I actually need to talk about the two of these cards at the same time now that I think about it because the energy for you is based on your thoughts and you have the thought card crossing you. Um, but to talk about the choice card a little bit more. so. This coming up in the position of the energy for you guys, Libra, is is telling me that you guys are going to be in a position to where you actually start doing a little bit of reflecting or, or start to see where, you know, your choices in life have gotten you to the point to where you are now. Um, this card also... And I'm going to talk about that when I talk about the thought card. But so, okay, so we'll just, we'll just talk about how your choices. So very, very, very heavy and not heavy in a, in a negative sense. It's just a very strong energy for you guys, Libra. This is, a, I think this is going to be a very reflective time for you. You guys are actually coming up on the end of your particular um, year, getting ready to come into your new year is coming up in a, in a couple months or next month here. We're already in August. It's crazy saying that. Um, and so this could be a very reflective time for you where you're really sitting and thinking about all the things that all the choices that you have made and how, you know, certain choices have gotten you to certain points in life or probably wondering why you made certain choices or why you didn't make certain choices. But this is going to be a very strong energy for you during this time, Libra. And this is also this card also is saying this is also going to be a time to where you are presented with options and opportunities and different choices and to where you're really going to have to tap into that Libra energy of the scales and weigh certain things out so that you know you're actually making the quote unquote right choices for yourself if that makes sense. Um, now, to, because I can't really talk about more on that card without tapping into the thought card. Coming up in the position of what is crossing you, Libra, you've got the thought card for this Leo lunar cycle. And this has been a very, very prominent energy for a lot of people, a lot of signs throughout the summer. I've been talking a lot about positive intentions and positive thoughts and positively manifesting things. So you've got the thought card crossing your choice card. So what that tells me, Libra, is you guys are still, because I think last month or the month before that I did a reading for you guys where I was like okay listen y'all need to get your thoughts together you have to stop thinking so negatively and allowing negative thoughts to consume the things that you're trying to positively intend that doesn't work life cannot the, the things that you want are never going to work out if you're attaching negative thoughts to them so this thought card crossing the choice card for you guys Libra in this spread is telling me Libra you are the scales you know what you want you have an idea of why these things that you want are good for you or why the things that you don't want are bad for you you you've looked at these situations a thousand times over you understand the good you understand the bad you understand the ugly you know what I'm saying Libra and you have an idea of the way that you want your life to play out you have an idea of the choices that you want to make Libra however the thought card coming up in the position that's crossing you is saying okay Libra you have these ideas, but it seems like you're still tapping a little bit into that negative, fearful, doubtful energy. Um, and again, I, as humans or as a society, we're just kind of conditioned like that to hope for the best and expect the worst. This card, this thought card coming up in the crossing position is saying, Libra, you need to shift yourself out of the mindset that you were in. Um, and that doesn't necessarily mean like you're a bad person, but you do carry around what I pick up from this is, Libra, you will have an idea or you'll have something good, and instead of just allowing it to be good, you always attach something bad to it, i.e. example, oh, <sighs> it's a nice day outside today, but it rained all last week, okay, and you know what I'm saying, what does, okay, cool, sometimes the negativity is not needed. And this card, this thought card crossing your choice card is saying, Libra, 
you're actually at a point now to where, especially if you've been watching my videos, it's kind of like you can't sit up here and say, oh, I can't help it. To the point now to where you are aware of your thoughts, you're aware of the way that you're thinking about things, you're aware of whether this is a positive thought or a negative thought, but where the disconnect is, where the issue comes in is, for some reason, Libra, it seems like with these cards, you're having a hard time pulling the negative away from you. It's, it's almost like you guys are tapping a little bit too much into your scales and saying, okay, I want this good stuff, but there's the possibility of the bad, and because I'm the scales, the bad is going to have to be there to weigh it out. It, it doesn't necessarily have to be like that, Libra. You don't have to lend any of your energy to negative insights. You can actually lend it all to positivity. Think positive thoughts so that in tune you can make positive choices, and those positive choices can make positive growth happen for you within your life, okay? Now... The next card that I have coming up for you, Libra, is in the position of what is cramping your style? And you've got the Seven of Cups. <laughs> and the Seven of Cups is a card of confusion. It's a card of things being topsy-turvy, being upside down, not knowing what's going on. Um, it is also a card of choices, but a card of indecisiveness. So the Seven of Cups coming up in the position of what's cramping your style, coming up after the cards of choice and the card of thought, what I get from that card, Libra, is really just, and, and okay, the Seven of Cups is associated with the water element, and that has to do with our emotions, with the things we're emotionally invested in, with love, relationships like familiar relationships, romantic relationships, creativity, spirituality, insight. The Seven of Cups coming up after this choice card and the thought card in the position of what's cramping your style, Libra, is what I get from that is because you are lending, still lending energy to negative thoughts, to fear, to doubt, it's almost like you have this idea of what you want to happen, you have an idea of how you want things to play out, you see the sun, but the sun's on the bottom of the card, right? So you have these ideas, but because you are so wrapped up in the possibility of something negative happening for you, you put yourself into a position to where it's almost like, well, on a higher level, you don't even know what you want because you have these positive intentions, but instead of trying to train yourself, trying to shift your perspective, you still willingly allow yourself to lend in that expect the worst energy. Remember, hope for the best, expect the worst. So this card, the Seven of Cups is saying, okay, Libra, well, what do you want? Because you put out two opposing energies um, and that that is the downside of being the scales you have the balance but then you also always have the opposing energies and sometimes the opposing energy is not necessarily needed so the seven of cups is saying okay listen libra you've got to figure out how to shift your perspective you guys are an air sign so you do have a little bit of a higher hand on changing your mentality or making it a little bit easier being open to different perspectives seven of cups is saying okay libra you, you got to choose one or the other you either get to resonate with negative thoughts and doubt and fear or you can resonate with positivity and positive intentions and positive manifestations and you're not gonna like you, you, that's something that you can't be in limbo on if that makes sense it's either you want it to happen positively or you have a bunch of doubt about it and so this card is saying okay well there's really no way for anything to play out for you until you figure out how you're going to intend these things and it's going to go one of one of two ways all right now the next card that we have coming up in this spread for you is in the position of where do you need to show off and you've got the seven of pentacles um and the seven of pentacles is a card of It's a, it's a card, it's, it's kind of a card of patience. It's a card of saying, okay, you know, things are being built up, things are changing, things are shifting. However, they may not be happening in the time that you want them to happen. And this is in the position of what do you need to show off. So Libra, as I was saying, for the majority of the beginning of this spread, you're, you're dealing with a little bit of a conflict in the things that you want and the, the doubts or the fears or the negative energy that you're placing with them. The Seven of Pentacles is in the position of the things that you need to show off. So this is saying, okay, Libra, you are maybe not necessarily confused, but the ways on a subconscious level that you're putting your energy out there makes things a little jumbled, makes things a little confused. 
sometimes in order for us to tap into a certain energy, we actually have to physically adapt ourselves to that energy before we actually take it on. So this is saying, okay, Libra, this is now a time for you to show that you know how to build upon the things that you want. This is now a time for you to show, okay, I may have this doubt here, but there are certain things that I want, so I need to make the moves to start making those things that I want to happen, happen, and in turn, by uh, lending my energy to that, doing the things that I want to happen. This is an earth card, a pentacles card, so foundations, finances. Um, sometimes relationships, because those are foundations, depending. Um, stability, so anything regarding the things that I just said, Libra, instead of just thinking about it, because for you guys, just thinking about it, unfortunately, it's not working because you have that doubt attached to the things that you're trying to do. You're going to have to physically start making moves. So say, you're like, oh, I want some more money. In the back of your mind, the cards are saying, you're like, oh, I want some more money, but am I gonna get more money? I may not get the money that I need. The Seven of Pentacles card is saying, okay, Libra, you want some more money go out there either get a job or go hustle do something make yourself some more money to where you get the money to where you see okay this is possible so you start thinking in a positive light and in tune start making positive choices okay now the next card libra that y'all have coming up for you guys in your soul message position is that is that an air card sorry y'all. i told you this is a new deck for me and <laughs> Dude, the artwork is is bomb, but I'm still getting familiar with these. Uh, I'm still getting familiar with these cards, but I think that is the, the seven of air. Is that the seven of air? That is the seven of air. Um, okay, so you've got the seven of air coming up for you guys in the position of your soul message, and this is a card of. This is a thought card. It is. A, it is an air card. Um, And this is a card that points to like spirituality and enlightenment. Um, it, it more so has to do with our belief systems. So interpreting from this card, this is coming up in your soul message position. So this is almost a confirmation card to say everything that I just said to y'all in this reading, you really need to take heed to. Um, and I, I, I am so passionate about this because this is something that I had to learn for myself. There is no way that the things that you want to work out for you are going to work out if you're not thinking about them positively. Even if you, you know, you're, you're saying to your blue in the face the most positive things about these situations, if in the back of your mind you have any kind of doubt, that shit can manifest, unfortunately, physically. It can manifest physically, and that doubt that you were feeling can come out and make the things that you were planning just completely all out of whack, all in disarray, okay? The seven of air is saying, you know, you get back what you put out. You receive what you put back. Libra, the energy that you put out and the energy that you put into the things that you want to do is what you're going to get back. So if you're putting in this confused, oh, well, I want to do this, but it could happen like this, you're going to get Seven of Cups energy back to where shit is all over the place and you don't know what's going on. If you put in the energy of, okay, this is what I want, and it can happen like this, and it can positively happen like this, then you're gonna get Seven of Pentacles energy and be able to build upon the things that you need to build upon. Libra, you're an air sign, so you need to know that your mental power, your mental capacity is very strong. You guys have the ability to tap into that more so than the rest of us. So Libra, harness your own air energy, harness your own intellect, perspective, thoughts, harness that, tap into some sort of peace of mind, and figure out how to rid yourself of this doubt. This thought card coming up in a crossing position is not good energy. Rid yourself of this fear. Figure out how to rid yourself of this doubt. Like I am, um, I say in a lot of my, um, in my videos, there's a little exercise that I like to do. Just trying to shift my own perspective and trying to stop myself from, from the best way I like to say, like accidentally manifesting shit that I don't want <laughs> is whenever something negative happens combat it with two positives so say what's the okay here's a good example and shit i ran out of weed okay ran out of weed bummer but 
have some time to take a little bit of a break to clear your head to regroup oh and then the next time that you get some weed you're gonna feel even higher because it's been a little bit of time since you smoked so you know something as silly as that something as minimal as that good way to kind of train yourself it's an exercise to train yourself to shift your perspective so libra that may be a good exercise for you guys to do and i think i've said this to y'all in a couple of the libra videos throughout the year Whenever something negative is happening, Libra, combat it with two positives. You will see down the line that instead of that, oh, what if shit turns out this way? What if things happen this way? You'll start to see, okay, I want things to happen like this, and this is how I'm going to make them happen like this. Choice. Thought. You, we don't need Seven of Cups energy, so Libra, you got to tap out of that. You want to be in the Seven of Pentacles energy and the Seven of Air energy. The, the, manifesting the things that you truly want and you, you've got a lot of seven energy in here too and that's a divine number that's a number of introspection as well so libra i think it really is time for you to start thinking about the way that you're thinking about things if that makes sense okay Whew. all right libra i hope that those cards provided you with you know some insight into how to make it through this leo lunar cycle um, if you have any questions or comments, go on and drop them down below. I check my channel pretty much every couple days, so I'll respond to you within that time. If you feel like you need a more in-depth or you want a personal reading, go on and uh, check out my Etsy shop. What was that? That's the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Libra. Um, <laughs> this card just flew out the deck. Whatever bad shit or negative shit is happening for you right now is by your own doing. Um, and it's your thought process. It's by you thinking of things in a negative light. This is a card of loss, of grief, of like disappointment. This is a Pentacles card of you thinking about your foundations and shit in a negative light is what's causing them to not either, what's either causing them to crumble or causing them to not come up in the way that you want them to, to not grow in the way that you want them to. So just be very mindful of your thoughts, Libra. Um, you know our words and our thoughts are very powerful and they they do have that power to manifest physically so just be very mindful you've got the seven of air in your spread that's telling you libra the way that you're thinking about things is what you got to pay attention to okay all right y'all um like i said i hope that that reading provided you with some insight if you want to know more about what this leo lunar cycle means check out that leo video the new moon in leo and partial solar eclipse video um if you like the video go on and hit that little thumbs up button for me down below please um 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 sorry y'all if you like the video go on and hit the thumbs up button if you do have any questions or comments like i said drop them down below if you have any friends that are libras or you know anybody cross watching for their leo i'm sorry not their leo for their libra booze Go on and send them this video. Y'all share my videos all the time. It's actually what contributes a great deal of growth to my channel. So I, I truly do appreciate y'all. Um, and if you are still listening to me talk and we are 22, 23 minutes in, go on and hit subscribe so you can keep up with when I put out new videos or when I um put out new readings, put out new free tarot readings. <laughs> Um, I plugged pretty much all my videos in the beginning. Check out those summer solstice tarot forecasts. Check out um, your moon or rising sign video, that new moon and Leo video. We are in hella retrogrades. Check out my retrograde series. And we are also rounding out the eclipse season. So check out that eclipse season. I'm sorry, eclipse series. Check out the eclipse series forecast. <laughs> All right, Libras. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see y'all next time.